You know, lead has been recognized in the environment as a, a poison that has long-lasting and devastating effects, not only on people, but on animals as well. In fact, we've banned it in gasoline, we've banned it in paint, and yet we're still allowed to use it in ammunition and hunting large game. At Salt Haven here, we see animals that come to us as a result of lead poisoning. A lot of bald eagles and birds of prey, they ingest the lead through carcasses or uh, through entrails that have been left behind by hunters and it only takes a piece of lead about the quarter of the size of your baby fingernail to actually outright kill a bald eagle. What we think is happening is that when lead ammunition hits a bone it splinters and fragments and ends up in different parts of the meat or into the entrails and when those entrails are left for wild animals like eagles and coyotes and whatnot they end up getting the lead and it ends up having a toxifying effect on them. In the state of California, Governor Brown actually outlawed all lead ammunition as of a couple of years ago. California condors that make their nesting areas in California are susceptible to lead poisoning. In fact, large numbers of California condors have been found to contain lead in their bodies on examination. Here at Salt Haven, we see wild birds of prey like bald eagles, for instance, that are kind of at the top of the food chain in the avian world that have a real problem with lead poisoning. As you can see in this picture here, this bald eagle is very uncoordinated and took almost six months to get back on his feet to the point where he could finally be released. In that process of banning lead ammunition in California, they found out that the incidence of lead poisoning and birds of prey particularly went down significantly. So that may have to come to Ontario at some point in time in order for us to eliminate lead poisoning altogether. So what are the alternatives? There's copper and copper alloy. The ballistics are almost the same. In fact, it's a little bit speedier and uh, carries almost as much impact. We can make sure that if we are gutting an animal, dressing it in the field, that maybe we bury the entrails so that uh, other animals can't get to it. Or we take the whole animal back home and we dispose of the entrails there. Those are difficult decisions to make on the part of the hunter because sometimes the animal is just a little bit too heavy to carry out. I want to make one thing perfectly clear. At Salt Haven, we are not against hunting. Responsible hunting has a place in the world. Both my sons are hunters and I've talked to them about it. They have come up with another alternative which seems to work well for them and that is bow hunting. Bow hunting is a challenge that takes us back to our roots. There are more and more places that cater to bow hunters and a lot of places to practice target shooting as well. Think about it, lead has been banned in so many other areas. It's not good for us. Why would we use it to feed our families with? So look for the alternatives. Be smart about it. Take action. I'm Brian Salt, helping you to keep the wild in wildlife.